Our other big story of the night, Scott Peterson is not getting a new trial. A judge denied the convicted killer's petition for a retrial. The decision comes nearly 20 years of the day Lacey Peterson was killed. CBS 13 Steve Large is in the newsroom with reaction from one of the original jurors who convicted Peterson of murder. Well, this decision was all about one of the 12 jurors in the initial 2004 trial. Scott Peterson had alleged she was biased. Today, a judge ruled she was not. Well, I was relieved. Um, you know, given, given the way and the state of things today, who knows what they're going to come up with. The Scott Peterson conviction will stand. Mike Belmasieri was one of the 12 jurors who convicted Peterson of murder in 2004. He's been watching Peterson's appeal centered on a different juror, Rochelle Neese, nicknamed Strawberry Shortcake for her hair during the trial. For me, I didn't see Rochelle as being anything but involved in the deliberations. She participated in them. We had discussion. Uh, it was, it was uh, respectful. Peterson alleged niece shown here during this year's testimony intentionally lied in a juror questionnaire writing she had never been the victim of a crime when she had filed a restraining order four years before in a domestic violence case. The judge determined niece was sloppy in her answers but did not show bias. Legal expert Mark Reichel. So even if they make a mistake, say something that's not accurate, if, if it can be proven that it really wasn't with a bias or a purpose, okay, then it's going to be really hard to find error. The judge's ruling comes nearly 20 years after Lacey Peterson went missing Christmas Eve of 2002, a heart-wrenching case drawing sadness and outrage around the world. Scott Peterson, have no doubt, have no doubt, Scott Peterson is exactly where he belongs. 18 years, 18 years he sat there. And I hope he sits there until the day he dies. Today's decision was a big one, although Scott Peterson still has several appeals he can make to the state appellate court and then to the Supreme Court.